Hey all, in my quest for a raw editor for Linux, I found one by the company that make CorelDRAW. They claim on their homepage that it was up to four times quicker than Lightroom. So let's check it out. It's called Aftershot by Coral. So it's the same company that make CorelDRAW. They were still selling it on Black Friday. As you can see here, it's still for sale. But in terms of camera profile updates, they've not released any new profiles for it since, well, officially September 2021, I think. I did read a comment on Google that the last known update was 2022. So it's not abandoned, but it's also not very active but it does look like a good piece of software and probably the closest that you would get to Adobe Lightroom on Linux running natively so it's very much like Lightroom before it had the AI features so I'm just going to show you it here now so if we'll just maximize this screen a moment just put a load of JPEGs that I had to hand here but if we just say load my pick of the Aurora you've got your usual exposure highlights blacks saturation hue sharpening you've got your curves the color correction for each color color balance white balance You've got a more detailed exposure there. Actually, you've got more than Lightroom there. You've got your lens corrections, metadata, plugins. You've got your color equalizer here, which I'm sure I had a color balance as well. Let's have a look. Somewhere here, I could have sworn I saw it. Oh, here we go, color balance. So it's also got like the linear grad and radial grad features but that is an additional plugin you have to buy so I think their business model is to sell you this for 50 quid and then you have to buy the plugin separate but it still is a one-off fee rather than a monthly membership so I'll just go to the website okay so if we go here view aftershot plugins it's got coral grad filter prone graduated neutral density and color filter so a little bit annoying that you've got to get that separately but at least you've got the option so I also noticed if we go back to aftershoot products I think it was under features it's got open CL support one thing you probably will have to do though is that if you've got a camera from the last three to four years, you may have to convert to a Adobe DNG first to import it. I personally think that this software needs a bit more demand from Linux users for them to pay attention to it. Because I think if it's left much longer by car they'll probably just discontinue it. So in the description, I'm going to put a link to the feedback page. So if you're interested in this software, I'd recommend messaging them saying, have you got this camera profile or that camera profile? And if this video does well and there's a lot of people, it might encourage them to do more with this software. Because I think Cole will aim a lot of their work at Windows, but as we all know, Linux seems to be growing at the moment. So it'd be a good time to twist some arms, should we say. Anyhow, when you do want to install a color profile that does already exist, if you go to the software, you just go get more within the app and that'll open a web browse page. And you've got this Aftershot Pro plugins. And then down the bottom here, you've got all the camera profiles. So for me, I've got Panasonic S5 II and I downloaded this one. So you just save that. And then to load it, you just go File, Install Camera. And then you just go to your Downloads folder and select it. And it will say, would you like to install this? And mine says Replace because I've already installed it. But I've got a Panasonic S5 II. And when I loaded 
my raw file. It didn't seem to want to load, so I'm probably going to have to convert that to DNG. This is the most Lightroom-esque raw editor that runs natively on Linux that I found. And I could live with this if I had to live just on Linux. One thing I have noticed is it seems to have like a double window frame. So I'm wondering if Coral have just put their own wrapper around the Windows version or whether they've done it like this because of the different distros. In terms of distros, I'm running Pop OS if you didn't notice. And to install it, I just had to click download trial and then go instructions terminal installation because the Ubuntu 16.10 or later didn't work off the bat for me. So if you go here, you've just got to follow this bit here. So go to terminal, change directory to downloads and then just do a couple of sudo commands and it's still straight away. I didn't have to do any dependencies or anything. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's decent, but I wish it had more users so that it's not been abandoned. Basically, the four times Adobe speed I think is a bit of a bold claim, or up to four times. I think this is a. Version 3 was probably released around 2016. So let's go back to the overview. And it says Coral Aftershock Pro 3 is up to four times faster than Adobe Lightroom. It's got a bit of other creative fluff. But it's got a um, compared to Lightroom PDF here. I'm going to have a look at that in a moment actually. I won't do it now. But anyhow, yeah. I'm still finding software. It's surprising... The commercial software for Linux is quite deeply buried. So I think if they did a better job of marketing it. That being said, I think some Linux users have a rep for only wanting free stuff. But for me, uh, as you've probably seen me say, I, I just want a operating system where you can use your own hardware. I love free software, but I don't mind paying for it if it's decent as well. So anyhow, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see what I find next. And all the best.